Hello all. In this video, we shall see how to connect a 16x2 LCD with the Arduino board. This is the 16x2 LCD. 16 is the number of columns and 2 is the number of rows. 16 columns and 2 rows LCD. Make use of a Berg stick like this and solder the pins to the LCD so that it can be easily fit on the breadboard. This is how you solder the pins to the LCD and plug it on to the breadboard. To the right hand side is the first pin of LCD and the left hand side is the 16th pin of LCD. The bottom of the breadboard is the positive rail and to the top, and to the top is uh, negative rail. Connect the negative rail to the ground of Arduino. Negative rail to ground of Arduino. This is the ground of Arduino. And positive rail to 5 volt of Arduino. Positive rail to 5 volt of Arduino. The first and sixteenth pin of LCD are ground pins that should be connected to the negative rail. First pin of LCD to negative rail and last pin of LCD also to negative rail. The second and fifteenth pins are uh, supply pins. Second is the supply pin of LCD that should be connected to the positive rail. And 15 pin is also supply pin that is a supply to backlight of LCD that should be connected to the positive rail. Use a 10k potentiometer to change the contrast of LCD. The first pin of uh, potentiometer should go to the positive rail. The last pin should go to the negative rail. And the center pin, center pin of potentiometer should go to the third pin of LCD. That is the contrast control pin. The fourth pin of LCD is RS pin, register select pin. LCDs have two registers, data register and command register. Data register holds what goes on to the screen. And LCD's controller looks for instructions on what to do next onto the instruction register. Connect this pin, fourth pin of LCD, to digital pin 2 of Arduino. 0, 1, 2, 2 of Arduino. Fifth pin of uh, LCD is the RW pin, read-write pin. A load to this pin means write and high to this pin means read. We are going to use the LCD as for display, so make it low. So fifth pin of LCD should be, should go to the negative rail. Sixth pin of LCD is the enable pin. Sixth pin is a enable pin. It enables writing onto the registers. Connect the sixth pin of LCD to digital pin 4 of Arduino. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 of Arduino. Now we have to connect the data pins. Data pins of LCD to Arduino. LCDs can be controlled in two modes, 4-bit or 8-bit. For displaying text on LCD, 4-bit mode can do most everything. So we are, we are going to use the LCD in 4-bit mode. D4 to D7 are used for 4-bit mode. This D0 to D3 is not used. D0 is LSB. And D7 is USB. We are going to use D4 and to D7. So connect D4, that is a pin 11 of uh, LCD, to digital pin 8. D5, 12th pin of LCD, to pin 9 of Arduino. D6, 13th pin of LCD, to pin 10 of Arduino. And finally, D7, that is 14 pin, to pin 11 of Arduino.
this is the setup before you upload your code now connect the USB cable to the Arduino board and feed in the COM port that is seen under the device manager open tools select serial port as uh, COM9 in our case here and board is Arduino you know and programmer is uh, USB ASP now open up file and under examples scroll down to liquid crystal there you see the hello world program click on that hello world program opens now scroll down the first sentence is the include liquid crystal dot h that is a header file liquid crystal library is pre-installed with IDE you have to just include the header file and now you create a variable for the LCD module we are creating a variable called LCD under liquid crystal and tell the sketch which pins of LCD are connected to which digital pins of Arduino we are using uh, pins 2, 4, 8, 9, 10 and 11 so you have to change the pins here 2 is the register select 4 is the enable and 4 data pins are connected to 8, 9, 10 and 11 8, 9, 10 and 11 and inside void setup we are using the statement lcd.begin16,2 that is we are using 16 column and 2 rows LCD that is declared using this statement and lcd lcd.print prints the character data we want on LCD display inside loop we push in the cursor at zero column and first row and then print the milliseconds since the board began running the program that is done by this uh, lcd.print millis statement now upload this uh, program you can see the LED is blinking it is uploaded you can change the contrast by changing the potentiometer now the hello world character is uh, printed on LCD and uh, the time in milliseconds is displayed at the bottom now to make a scrolling display just inside the loop change the code as below LCD dot uh, scroll display left scroll display left and provide a delay of 500 milliseconds now upload the code Now, this now the display starts uh, scrolling to the left. Thank you for watching.